I hope you're having a great day. Today I want to talk about, again, something that people have made an enemy of, carbohydrates. A lot of people, when they hear the word carbs, immediately they think about weight gain, fat gain in the abdominal area, and people are just so scared of carbohydrates. So today, I'm not going to talk about science. I'm not going to talk about what right, what's right and what's wrong. I'm just going to ask you to listen and reflect. Okay, reflect. Sometimes when you keep looking at social media, readings, we don't, we, we, we tend not to use our own common sense. Okay, yes, there are good carbohydrates and there are bad carbohydrates, like there are good fats and bad fats. Okay, now we have enough of knowledge to know which the bad carbs are and the good carbs are. But is it right to generalize that carbohydrates are bad and they make you fat? Number one, look at every pro athlete, every sports person. They have a high carbohydrate diet. We know that. Footballers, swimmers, cricket players, they have a high carbohydrate di diet and they are fit. Now, on the other side, look at farmers, look at laborers. They have a high carbohydrate diet. They eat breakfast, they eat lunch, dinner, high carbs. And look at their physiques. Look at the women who carry water in villages, you know, on their heads and they have long distances to walk. High carbohydrate diets and look at their figures, okay? So here you have two extreme groups with a high carbohydrate diet and fantastic bodies, okay? How does this make carbohydrates bad? And now you come to the people going to work, people living in the comforts of their homes, all of that stuff. Okay, the difference between these groups is activity. Okay, laborers, all of these people, they have a lot of physical activity. Athletes are training two to three times a day. The carbohydrate is fuel for them. Okay, they use the fuel so they can work out, they can work, they can do their jobs. All right, those carbohydrates get burnt and they don't have things like diabetes, they don't have things like weight gain and abdominal fat. So the difference is your activity. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, okay, and you're eating carbohydrates, you're bound to have insulin problems and abdominal fat and all of those issues. Okay, let me give you an example of diabetics. We have diabetics who eat carbs at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And most of them are right now on the trend of reducing their medication, and most of them have reversed their diabetes and are still eating carbohydrates because we've played around with their activity. How can you build more activity in a day? A lot of people think that just because they do a one hour workout, that's it, but they're sedentary for the rest of the day. They're sitting, lazing around, their servants are getting remote controls for them, opening the door all the time, carrying their groceries and all of that stuff. Yes, you are active sedentary. You're not completely active. So when your activity, okay, is in line with your carbohydrate consumption, you don't have a problem. Now, for people who have diabetes and metabolic syndromes and all of that stuff, number one, you have stress, you have sleep deprivation, you have overconsumption of sugar and carbohydrates, you're bound to have a disease. You don't have a disease because of carbohydrates. But now if you have a disease, can lowering your carbohydrates help you get better? Of course it can. Of course it can. You can't have this disease and still have a high carb diet. But the point is, Everyone who's trying to run away from carbs and they say, Luke, we're feeling miserable. We're snappy all the time. We're frustrated. We're bitchy all the time. We're snapping and getting angry. That's because you've gone too low on your carbs. If you are working out and you're super active, carbs are your friend. Okay, the easy way out is to get off carbs, lose a little bit of weight and then make, you know, demonize carbs and cause a problem. How many people across the world have naturally a high carbohydrate diet? Are all of them sick? Do all of them have diabetes? Do all of them have belly fat? In fact, if you look at some of the fittest people, they eat carbs at every single meal. The fittest and the happiest people eat carbs at every meal. You can have fit people who are carb deprived and they're all the time complaining and grumbling and aggressive and frustrated. There's no point having a fit body if you don't have a nice personality or an attitude and you can't behave well with other people in front of you. So my point is the problem is not the carb. Now, if you have a low, low activity day and your lifestyle is more sedentary, of course, drop the carbs because where's the energy being used? Now, if you have a high activity day, increase the carbohydrates. You can't starve the body of a macronutrient just because everyone's telling you to do it. Now, you take someone who's obese and has abused carbs all their life and you cut down carbs, automatically their weight will fall. This doesn't make the carb bad. This makes that person's previous lifestyle bad. 
So you don't have to do these extremes. You don't have to do these extremes. If you shock your body with too much of carbs, of course, you have accumulation of blood sugar levels in your blood that can store as fat. You constantly do it. You're going to destroy your cells. You're going to have insulin resistance and all of that stuff. But today, the happiest diabetics who are on the road to recovery are eating carbohydrates, the right quality, the right quantity at the right time. Okay, the easiest way is say, stop everything and your disease gets better. How sustainable is it? I've had loads of people go on to low carb, no carb, mess up their health, do it for two months, three months, and then say, we can't sustain it. Why do you try to do things that you cannot sustain? Rather, you want to move into balance. You want to move into self introspection and say that, hey, I am a lazy person. I'm not moving as much, much as I should. I'm eating more than I move. I'm eating more carbohydrates that I, that I, I can't even burn for you know, energy consumption. So it's as simple as that. A marathon runner does carb loading. They do carb loading the previous day for energy to do a marathon. Is that causing them diabetes? No, they're going to burn it the next day. So stop, you know, expand your thinking. The more you look at people, social media is good. Tomorrow, if I show you a body with a six pack and I make a story that, oh, I was low carb and I did this, did that. You think that's the only way? That's a lie. That's how you get attention from people. You take any sick person and you make three small changes, the person is bound to get better. This doesn't mean that that process is the best process in the world. It means the person changed their lifestyle. They make three changes, which they should have made a long time ago. So my point is be realistic. If your body is carb efficient, you will break down carbohydrates. Some people are protein efficient. Some people are fat efficient. We've come across people who try to increase their protein and they actually put on weight. And then you bring down the protein, balance the fat and the carbs, and they're absolutely fine. Some people are fat fat efficient works beautifully. If you're fat efficient, you can do all these ketogenic diets if you can, if you think you can maintain it. But if you're not fat efficient, a lot of people, they start eating more fat and they have digestive issues because their gallbladders are too weak to handle the excess fat coming into the body. So everyone is different. Find out what works for you and do it. It's as simple as that. Stop fooling yourself into thinking that carbs are your enemy. Your lifestyle is your enemy enemy. It's as simple as that. I have people who go low carb, have low energy, and then they're looking for supplements that can boost their energy. Just boost up your carbs. The supplements are not going to help you. Why do you need to put additional supplements into your body when your primary source of energy that suits your body type isn't existent? So, you know, we do all these complicated things and then we say healthcare is expensive and we wait to fall sick and then you are going to pay a lot of money to fix your health. Let's be honest about that. And then you have expectations that everything should be free. It doesn't work that way. You need to look at what works for your body. And like I said, think of the example. How do farmers do it? How do laborers do it? How do athletes do it? If carbs were bad, they wouldn't be successful. They wouldn't have those powerful physiques and figures and all of that stuff. They are on high carb diets because their activity is more. So now if you're sitting at home and loading up in carbs and you're lazy and you have a sedentary lifestyle and you're not doing any of that stuff, obviously you are going to have problems. But the problem is not the carb. The problem is you, your choices and your lifestyle. It's as simple as that. I have parents today who are putting their kids on low carb diets thinking that, you know, that's the healthy way. Let me tell you that your kids overall development is going to be affected no matter what. Okay, no matter what. Kids are active. Of course, if your kid is lazy, playing video games all day and sitting in bed, yeah, you want to balance out their carbs and their overall macros. More than that, you want to get them to be more active. You don't try to solve a problem by treating the symptom. Get them off the video games. Get them more active. It's as simple as that. You don't lower carbs to solve a problem which is caused by something else. So I can promise you out there, and I know you know people, and maybe that's yourself as well. You enjoy carbs, you're happy, you're fit, your medical reports are good. How many of you out there right now, you'll eat carbs, you'll work out, you'll sleep, you'll take care of your emotional wellness, you'll are happy people and you have zero diabetes, zero diseases. How many of you out there? There are millions of them, millions of, uh, of them out there. And then there are the weak-minded people who look at social media and say, oh, carb, it's bad, let me ca cut it out. And they feel frustrated and unhappy and all of those things. Don't be that person. Don't be that person because there is nothing wrong with carbohydrates. There is everything wrong with carbohydrates when you are abusing your lifestyle, abusing it, eating the wrong quantity, the wrong quality at the wrong time. Why would you eat a high carbohydrate meal at 11 o'clock in the night? Now that's stupidity. That's stupidity. 
Okay, as, as blatant as I want to be, I don't care. That is stupidity. Okay, you don't eat a high carb meal at 11 o'clock when the body's preparing to sleep. You don't need energy at 11 o'clock. You need more protein and fat that will be used to repair your muscles, fat that will be used for your brain, for cell membranes and all of that stuff. So sometimes we need to question what we do. We don't do these things and then wonder why we're getting fat and blame the carbohydrates. So keep it simple, keep it real. Most people need to be truthful to themselves first. Truthful to themselves if they want to make any change in their health, their weight, any aspect of their life. Find your perfect truth. Because most people out there are living their own lies. Their own lies, finding faults with carbohydrates, finding faults with their workouts. No, the problem is your choices and your lifestyle. And the sooner you accept that, okay, you can change. When you're in denial, you can never change. You can never move forward. You stay stuck in denial, victim mode. Complain, blame, find fault, look for complication, look for more money to spend to solve a problem that needs to be solved with your choices, your attitude, and your lifestyle. It's as simple as that. So the next time you're scared of carbohydrates, look. And of course, there are some people who are not carb efficient. That's fine, go low carb. But don't do it because you think it's your shortcut towards building that great body and losing your weight. It doesn't work that way. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep. And remember, you care is all about you.